morning, Commissioner. You sent for me? Steve, tell me all you know about Anton Draga. Anton Draga. Popular leader of a country that we've given a lot of help to. Right. right. Only it was money down the drain. Draga turned sour, tried to sell out his country, and when he was found out, he committed suicide. See, that was about a month ago. How am I doing? Fine, with a couple of important exceptions. In the first place, it wasn't money down the drain, because now we've got a chance to uh, protect our investment. This morning, we found out there's a signed confession in existence, a document that reveals that Draga was murdered so that his country would become disunited. And uh, fall into the hands of the outfit that knocked them off? Right. Steve, we've got to get that document. Where is it? We've been contacted by a man named Baumgartner. He owns a, an inn up in the Swiss Alps, near Interlaken. He's got it? He says he's willing to uh, act as go-between, that the blackmailer wants to sell at the highest figure. I'll bet the bidding will be pretty high. Yeah, because the outfit behind the plot will be after it. That would be a good spot for any opportunist to resell at a higher figure. Okay. How much am I authorized to bid? Not one cent. What? You know we don't bargain with blackmailers. Who? Hmm. How am I supposed to get Steve, it? Steve, uh, how you get it is up to you. Just uh, get it. Well, that's it. You've got your assignment. Good luck. <laughs> Sure, I've got my assignment. Fly over to Switzerland and contact a gent named Baumgartner who owns an inn up in the Swiss Alps. Find out from Baumgartner who has a document so hot that it means the freedom or slavery for an entire European country. And then somehow get that document. Of course, any other parties involved will undoubtedly be bidding plenty of cold cash for it, but I'm supposed to use box tops or maybe bat my baby blue eyes at somebody. It's Tuesday when my plane lands at Bern, Switzerland. I grab a train to Interlaken, the closest town to Baumgartner's Inn. At the depot, I'm met by a guy named Rudy, who tells me Baumgartner sent him to bring me to the inn. He drives me up the mountain. The cold bothers you? This is quite mild. Are you kidding? You should have been with me in the ski troops. It was really cold then. Well, I'll settle for this. Hey, I don't see any inn. Across the gorge. Uh. Hey, how do we get over there? In this contraption? Yeah, sure. You sure you've been checked out in this gadget? Checked out? You know how to operate it. Yeah, it's quite simple. Well, first time for everything. Here we go. Boy, what a view. We stop a moment. You can enjoy it. How deep is this gully, anyway? You will soon find out for yourself. Huh? This is the end of the line for you. <laughs> now look, you look. Over the side. Where so you're going. Did you tell me you were an old army man? Yeah, which means I know how to handle this.
Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's my fault. Did I hurt you? No, not at all. <laughs> Can I buy you another drink? Thank you, but uh, no. Are well, you sure now? No, really, but uh, I will take, how do you call it? A rain check on it. Yeah, a rain check. <laughs> That's a deal. Is Mr. Baumgartner around? Yeah, right over there. Thanks. Mr. Baumgartner? Yeah? Steve Mitchell. Ah, Mr. Mitchell! Friends, a beer for Mr. Mitchell! <laughs> no, sit down, sit down! <laughs> I'm glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mr. Baumgartner, you do pretty good. Do? Do? You act like you aren't surprised to see me. Surprised? <laughs> I was expecting you. <laughs> You're telling me. That was quite a reception you arranged for me back there at uh, Interlochen, in the bucket. Reception? In the bucket? I don't know what you're talking about. Your strong arm, Rudy. I'm Rudy. You sent Rudy back there to Interlochen to polish me off. Polish me off? I want to do business with you. <laughs> I didn't send anybody to meet you. You're sure of that? I swear it. I wanted to just see you so I could... Jimmy, let's go. I swear I do not know this, Rudy. Then where did he come from? I don't know. Hmm? I don't know. Wait a minute. Maybe this Rudy was working for one of the uh, other parties who have been bidding on this document. One of the other parties? I, uh, uh, that is the owner, has received two other bids. <laughs> well, if Rudy was working for one of these other outfits, they sure mean business. Oh, indeed. To anybody that would do them any harm, hmm? <laughs> do not try to frighten me. You see, I happen to be on very good terms with both parties. Are you sure you're just the go-between in this deal? Oh, I'm just a go-between. But you will have to deal directly with me. Hmm. How do I know the document is still in existence? Oh, you will have to take my word for it. I have seen it. <laughs> Where is it? In the safety deposit box in Bear. Now, let us get down to business, huh? <laughs> As I told you, we have had two other offers on the document, but I've been holding off until I heard about your offer. How much? Not one cent. <laughs> I like a man with a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, I'm a whiz. But now, let us be serious, huh? Did you think I was kidding? Mr. Mitchell, this document is worth thousands of American dollars. If not to you, then to somebody else. Mr. Baumgartner, don't you realize that this document can make or break a country depending upon whose hands it gets into? I'm not interested in what good or what harm this document can do. I'm only interested in what good it can do me. <laughs> and its owner, of course. Mr. Baumgartner. Unless you make a definite offer, I will sell to the highest bidder. Well, maybe I can raise some money and get in on the bidding. Ah, this attitude I like much better, <laughs> but I cannot give you much time. Tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, I will sell to the highest bidder. You have until then. Okay. I better get back to Interlochen and contact my boss in the United States. Good. I will send along my bartender with you as a bodyguard. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to you, Mitchell. You see, I think your bid will be the highest, huh? <laughs>
Out. You killed him in cold blood. An eye for an eye, Mitchell. An eye for an eye? Oh. That guy, Rudy, that tried to shove me out of this contraption, he was one of your stooges? Yeah, but the bartender didn't have it. He was obviously your bodyguard, and therefore I had to be put out of the way. You see, Mitchell, I am a small man, unfortunately. Nobody is impressed with me. So I must use means that will impress them. Who are you? My name is Gerlach, if that means anything to you. It doesn't. No matter. Please, it's a document. I haven't got it. Oh! Please, Mr. Mitchell, do not delay. It is chilly up here, and I would much rather be in front of a warm fire. And I am sure your conscience would bother you if you should make me catch cold. Yeah. I'd hate myself in the morning. Look, I don't have it. <coughs> hey, now, look. Gun or no gun, if you think that I'm going to stand here and argue with you all... Just... <coughs> That will be enough for now. So, Otto, you did not hit him too hard after all. Oh, my two buddies, huh? They're still with me. Oh, never fear, Mitchell. We will be with you to the end. That's a nice thought. Where are we? A room in interlocking. Oh, I was luckier than the bartender then, huh? For the moment. Did you give him a decent burial, or is that asking too much? As decent a burial as you gave to Rudy. We shoved his body into the gorge. Mm. Hey, you know, it's getting to be a nasty habit with you. I'm going to have to break you of it someday. I have more for you. Ah, no, I can wait. I suggest we now resume our negotiations, Mitchell. Look, for the last time. I don't have that document. You got to the inn in spite of Rudy. And you had a talk with the genial Herr Baumgartner. Look, when I was unconscious, you undoubtedly searched me. You know I haven't got the document. However, I believe you do know where it is. No. Otto. <coughs> hey, look, you know, this isn't going to do you any good. Rest assured, it will not do you any good either. You see, Mitchell, it is as I said up at the cable car. You are not impressed with me. You, you do not think I mean business. You kidding? How much impressing do you think I need? There is an unlimited amount available. For instance... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. To continue. Whoa, wait a minute, will you? Well, well. So the brave man has had enough, hmm? Yeah, I've had enough. <clears throat> Look, kind of groggy. Thank you, little heir. Of course. The poor man has gone through a great deal. Get your fresh air. Then we talk, huh? But please, do not try anything. You the girl I bumped into up at the inn? Yes. Not that I wasn't glad to see you out that window, but what were you doing there? Came down on the cable car a little before you did. Saw what happened to you, so when they brought you to the inn, I followed them. Thanks. Uh... Lisa. Lisa Strauss. <laughs> I'm Steve Mitchell. Steve? Where are we going? You can rest at my house a little if you want. Fine. At this point, any place is fine. As long as those two characters aren't around.
Do you feel better now? Only about a thousand percent, Lisa. Ah, well, I guess this is the rain check we were talking about at the end, huh? This rain check, it is very fitting. Because for you, it's going to start raining. Oh, no. Not again. This will be the last time. You too, huh? The document, where is it? I don't know. Is that your final answer? It's my only answer. Look, I don't get it. If you're working with Gerlach, why did you help me give him the slip? I'm not working with Gerlach. It's true, there's two of us are citizens of the same country. And we're after the same document. Not for the same reasons, though. You see, our government came into power because of a disunity in our country. Yeah, I know. The country thought that its democratic leader had sold the country out and committed suicide. The document in question, however, proves differently. Yeah, proved the whole thing is a big frame. So Gerlach was appointed to get the document, huh? Yes. But there are those of us who don't like Gerlach. If he comes back empty-handed, it will be liquidated. You're a real sweet bunch of kids. Exactly. Stand up, Steve. I'm sorry. Well, what happens now? Are you going to shoot me? Not exactly. We don't play by the same rules. I see. You'll, you'll turn me over to the police. No, Lisa, I'm not going to turn you over to the police. You're a strange man, Steve. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Sure. I'll look you up. Next time I want to get shot at. By the time I check in at a hotel, it's daylight. Long about now, it looks like I'm licked. At 10 o'clock tonight, Baumgartner will turn over that key to the safety deposit box and burn to the highest bidder. Either Gerlach or Lisa. That puts the pressure on me, but good. Pressure. Pressure. All of a sudden, a crazy idea hits me, just crazy enough to work. After all, pressure can be transmitted in more than one direction. Yeah. That night, I time it to arrive at the inn at 9 o'clock. Ah, Mr. Mitchell. Mr. Baumgartner? Ah, you beat the deadline by over an hour, eh? Mr. Baumgartner, uh, you said that you were just the go-between in this deal, huh? Oh, of course. Who's the other guy? Oh, that does not concern you. <laughs> you know, I've got a hunch there isn't any other guy. I think you dreamed up this story about being the go-between just to protect yourself from Lisa and Gerlach. See here, Mitchell, that, that is not true. And, and anyway, it does not concern you. Okay, skip it. Now, uh, let us get down to business, huh? <laughs> How much are you prepared to be? Oh, you misunderstand. I just came by to say goodbye. Mr. Mitchell, sometimes I find your sense of humor very annoying. Oh, this is no joke. My train leaves for Bern in two hours. You're serious? Never more serious than my life. But I expected you to buy the document. Yeah. Yeah, I know you did. And... So long, chum. Just in case you're carrying another gun, sweetheart. Gun doesn't seem to be much good against you. Maybe I'll try some other weapons. I'm sorry. It was great while it lasted, but I'm glad it didn't last another minute. You're leaving? Yeah, better hurry. Might miss my train. You admit defeat, then? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, you're sure you're not... Uh... Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Can you hear me? 
Tell your boss goodbye for me. Tell him he was just a little too late. Got it? Someone on the plane, they won't kill me. Why should they want to kill you? Because of what you told them. I didn't tell them anything except that I was leaving. But they think you are leaving because I've sold you the document. Well, I can't help what they're thinking, can I, Baumgartner? But they won't kill me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why did you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you, Baumgartner. You just outsmarted yourself. But, but... Never mind the but. Now, look. You were using each of them against the other. You promised the document to each of them. Now they think that you've double-crossed them. But I didn't double-cross anybody. You know that. You must help me. You are the only one. Why don't you go to the police? I cannot go to the police with this. You know that. Well, it looks like you and I are going to make a little deal. Deal? Yeah, the key to safety deposit box. You got it? Yes. Well, give it to me, and I'll tell them both that I was bluffing. Well, but that way I will make nothing. That's right. The other way you'll make nothing, too, because you'll be dead. No, I will not do it. Okay, suit yourself. What is it? Thought I heard somebody coming. Yeah. Yeah, I guess somebody's coming here. Here, t take the key. Please, hmm? anything. You must protect me. Remember, please, take it. You must protect me. No, no, no. It's you. I should have known I'd find the two of you together. How nice. Now you can both die together. No, no. You promised it to me, but uh, you sold it to Steve, huh? Tell her, Mitchell. Tell her. Well, you see, Lisa. Save it... the explanations for me. <laughs> Now you will give me back the key, huh? You know, I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Give me the key. Well... Now you'll never get it. Well, I'll get it. Don't worry. Well, happy landings. Who pulled the emergency? The guy that just jumped off the train. Who? Oh, what is... I'll tell you about it on the way to Burn. Keep this thing going. Well, that's about it, Commissioner. Lisa and Gerlach got what was coming to them. I had his stooge Otto arrested for a couple of murders. Baumgartner's probably still wandering around in the snow with a bad case of frostbite. Well, what about the document? Got it right here. And when it's published, I think the country involved will open its eyes enough to do a little house cleaning. Good. I'll take the next plane back. Incidentally, will you do me a favor? Sure, what is it? Have a new key made for my apartment. New key for your apartment? I don't get it. Neither did Baumgartner. So long, Commissioner. Commissioner.